Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra. And in this tutorial today, we will discuss about various cloud providers. Uh, which cloud provider we should choose uh, for our application and for our organization and why we should choose that cloud provider. We will also discuss about the multi-cloud concept and the hybrid cloud concept. So uh, let me start. So uh, today uh, there are four main cloud provider in the market. First is the Microsoft Azure. Second one is Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. Third one is Google Cloud, also known as GCP and the IBM Cloud. These are the main players and having many services, a lot of services they are providing. Uh, starting from the IAS infrastructure as a service to uh, PaaS platform as a service to SaaS uh, software as a services to FAS function as a services to DBAS database as a services to CAS Kubernetes as a services or we can say the container as a services. Apart, so they are having a lot of, so what you can think they are providing the service on that, okay? Uh, apart from these main cloud players, in this tutorial, we will also going to discuss some other small uh, cloud like Oracle Cloud and SAP Cloud. Uh, these clouds are not having uh, such, uh, um, uh, such big list of the services, but uh, the services, the specific services these clouds are providing, and we should understand that uh, what these uh, what these specific services a particular cloud is providing and what would be the beneficial for our application and organization to get that different service from a different cloud and we prepare a model of kind of multi-cloud or the hybrid cloud for the for our application. Okay, so best suitable service we can choose like for Oracle Cloud is providing the Oracle database service, okay, as well as the same, same way uh, Salesforce is providing the CRM services, SAP is providing the ERP and human resource services, right? So if our application uh, require these services, then we can uh, uh, get these services by using these cloud. So, uh, we also, once we are understanding the concept of cloud, so as we are understanding the concept of public cloud providers, we also need to understand uh, the concept and uh, the other cloud providers also, if any specific service a cloud is providing and he is the master on providing that service. Okay, that's why we will cover some other clouds also in this tutorial. So let's we begin first. So first cloud is the AWS cloud, okay? So this cloud is the most popular cloud and also uh, it's the first launch. I mean, it's, it's was the first provider in the market and get launched into the uh, 2006, okay? Uh, around, the co around the globe, he's having, uh, AWS having its presence in 25 plus regions and 245 countries. Um, uh, more than 80 availability zone, it's having more than 100 direct connect location. Direct connect location means, uh, your application or your organizations can connect to any of these location, uh, 108 locations uh, via the high bandwidth line, okay, uh, to the AWS network. Uh, and 300 plus point of presence means a CDN network, if you have heard about, so these are things. So in this uh, 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 map, the word map, you can see it is having the span over, over the globe. As well as this, uh, this is the most popular because of its services and the documentation. Okay, a lot of people knows about the uh, AWS, and if it is kind of the startup and you are just starting your journey into the cloud, then AWS might be the best choice for you because it's providing a lot of tutorials, a lot of video you can find in the AWS related to services, how we can create the account, how we can use the IM model of the AWS. Very good supports is there. Okay, so uh, you can use uh, the AWS free account is also here. Okay, in this free account for a uh, year, many services are kind of free in the AWS and we can use it and lot of services. Okay, the maximum uh, services it's uh, provided by the AWS, AWS cloud, no other uh, or no other cloud is providing that much of services. Okay, so services is spanning, starting from the compute, DevOps, data, analytics, internet of things, machine learning, networking, content delivery, ro robotics, serverless computing. So a lot of things are there in the AWS. So if you are starting the journey, then it's the best choice. Uh, AWS all in all, very good and very stable uh, cloud service providers. Let me move to the next. Next is the Azure. 
सो इट इज द लार्जेस्ट पब्लिक क्लाउड एंड लॉन्च इन दाइंड इज लार्जेस्ट बिकॉज इट इज है मैक्सिम ओके regions and the uh, data centers around the globe no other cloud is matching the microsoft on it okay so everywhere in the world in every region and many countries you can have uh, uh, the point of presence of the microsoft okay so that's why and uh, the list is almost same as uh, the service list is almost same as aws is providing uh, the basic difference between the other cloud and the microsoft cloud is microsoft uh microsoft azure cloud uh is uh, uh mainly providing the microsoft specific services some third parties also but other cloud like ibm cloud aws cloud and google cloud they are a very much uh, um, um associated with the open source technologies also so there is very good support for it from aws and ibm cloud to the open source open source technology but uh the open source and uh, microsoft the relation is not uh, very good it's kind of tense relation so uh, if your organization or your application is microsoft to specific then uh, microsoft azure would be the very good choice for you and it's a very good and stable cloud you can use it it's also providing the free account uh, uh, as of now uh, they are providing the 200 um, as a credit once you will open the uh, microsoft account and you can use this 200 for uh, using and consuming any services next is the ibm cloud so this one is the most uh, oldest and the most secure public cloud okay uh once we say uh, the most uh, the oldest cloud uh, means uh, uh, the because of the mainframe okay so in 1950 ibm launched the uh, mainframe and mainframe is having the concept of uh, resource pooling as well as the time sharing and that is the same concept of the cloud as uh, nowadays right so that's why we say that this cloud concept started with the ibm mainframe uh that's why and uh, most secure because in most of the servers which uh, the vms and the uh, infrastructure uh the ibm is providing it's based on the se linux so that's why it is the most secure cloud we uh, consider uh it's uh, there in the six region and 18 availability zone 60 data centers around the globe okay and uh, uh Uh, the main thing uh, as i told uh, some uh, very specific and different services ibm cloud is providing uh, um, other than the other famous cloud uh, these are the uh, metal servers uh, vmware cloud packs modernization and blockchain like right? so metal in case of metal servers uh, ibm will provide you a server and uh, uh, the initial and uh, the physical server and uh, then client can uh, install uh, the hypervisor or the virtualization layer of their choice and can build their application over it okay so and same way the vm where cloud pack is for the modernization of your applications blockchain is ibm is providing okay so these are the key uh, benefit if anybody wants to use the ibm cloud and uh, the top of it the open shift support okay red hat open shift support so and it is making its very uh, unique the uh, cloud pack concept is uh, is uh, built top of the open shift and this is the very uh, the uh, near future of the cloud sites right? and for the modernizing of your applications so that is all about the ibm cloud if we move to the next is the google cloud so thus if we compare the services the google cloud also providing the same services as aws uh, azure is providing and ibm cloud is providing okay uh, but the main concept of gcp is its marketing the google cloud is saying that uh, their top tools uh, like google search and youtube are also running inside the uh, gcp google cloud platform uh, and they are claiming if our uh, google search and the youtube is performing so well around the globe without uh, lowest latency then your uh, the uh, end users applications will also run very good okay uh, so 
and that is true also and other benefit is the g suite the google cloud is providing and this is also um, considered very reliable cloud and launched in the 2008 it is having 24 uh, regions all over the globe so far and the 73 zones next one is the oracle cloud so <laughs> as we discussed so oracle cloud is not providing so much uh, a big list of the services but the some specific services which oracle cloud is providing is outstanding uh, one is the database as a service dbas we can set it and it is the oracle uh, data cloud okay so if your applications wants the oracle as a service you can get that service from the oracle cloud these services basically are not you can find in other clouds, right? So other clouds might be providing the MySQL database service, DB2 database service, and my MS SQL uh, service, but uh, not uh, the <laughs> Oracle. Okay. So if you if your application is using Oracle database, then you can get this service from the Oracle cloud. Okay. Uh, apart from this, uh, uh, the other services it's also being provided. Okay. These services are related to the SaaS software as a services in <laughs> section of ERP, uh, SCM, supply chain management at the HCM, human capital management, okay? Salesforce, Salesforce is uh, uh, providing uh, very good uh, services, SaaS services related to the CRM, customer relationship management, okay? So for mainly for the sales and services and the marketing, so if your organization or your application need these services then salesforce would be the very good choice for it sap cloud fluid pump <coughs> you know the sap right so system analysis program development okay so uh, here it is the very uh, erp specific okay the enterprise resource planning is specific and uh, crm is specific human resource uh, applications and the financial uh, application related uh, we can get these services from the sap cloud and uh, uh, if you know about the sap then sap hana is the latest product which is uh, based on the sap cloud okay so uh, these services if we your organization application uh, depends on the SAP services, depends on the SAP using the SAP, then the SAP cloud platform would be the good choice for you. Alibaba cloud, Alibaba cloud is also a very big cloud like uh, uh, Google and other cloud. And uh, the list of services Alibaba is providing is also same as them, the AWS, Google, GCP, right? Um, but the main difference is Alibaba is having the, his, its popularity in the Chinese, in the in the China, <laughs> not <clears throat> sorry, not out of it. Okay, so around the globe, it's not having that much uh, um, popularity. But within the China, um, it is very popular, and it's also known as the Alienium, Alienium. And the services, uh, more or less, the same as other provided Internet of Things and other compute and everything analytics and everything they are providing. Okay, so if we go back to our first slide and discuss uh, some concept about the multi cloud and the hybrid cloud. So multi cloud means maybe uh, we might you suppose uh, our uh, VMs, uh, our virtual machines are running into the AWS and uh, we want to use some DB2 specific services and these DB2 specific database services is being provided by the IBM cloud, okay? So our application get these services from the IBM cloud, the DB2 services and the virtual machines and other application component will be running into the AWS. And then we will connect AWS and IBM cloud through the high bandwidth uh, uh, pipeline, okay? for the low latency and in that way we will say that our application is using the concept deployment concept of the multi cloud okay so the best services we can opt from the different cloud like if uh, our application is using oracle so uh, uh, instead of using any database services provided by, provided by the these clouds we can opt that or the oracle service from the oracle we can opt crm service from the salesforce we can opt the erp service from the sap okay we can opt uh, um, 
the microsoft provided my uh, microsoft specific services from the azure we can have our infrastructure build the uh, on the bare metal server in the ibm due to those many um, complexity and many uh, we can say the security uh, things okay so we can have this bare metal server in IBM, and then we can connect all these cloud uh, through the high bandwidth line. And in that way, our application will be in the true sense, multi-cloud applications. We are opting the best <laughs> services provided by the cloud. Hybrid cloud concept is also very much similar, but in the hybrid cloud, then we have the concept of the on-premise also. So maybe the infrastructure and database you are having uh, 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 in your organization in the on-premise, okay, and then other services you might use uh, of the uh, for from the cloud, okay, for the disaster recovery for resiliency, okay. So you can have the same environment whatever you are having in your um, uh, organizations the same environment you can uh, create into the uh, any cloud so if and if and in a case of any failure you can uh, fail over to that uh, particular cloud service right so and not only this so a lot of examples related to hybrid cloud as the multi-cloud okay some services you can use from the cloud and many services you can use from your uh, high, uh, your on-premise. So if on-premise is there, then if on-premise and uh, cloud, uh, uh, public cloud is there, then your service will be called as the hybrid cloud. Okay, so that's all for this video. In next video, we will discuss uh, more about these cloud and uh, we will go uh, into the depth to understand uh, the basic difference uh, at uh, next level uh, in the next videos. Thanks for watching.